learning a lot more about a Carmichael man accused of trying to traffic illegal guns or trying to sell explosives. The suspect may be connected to another high profile case in the Bay Area. In case Area 3 Sharikina Shams got a look at some unsealed search warrants that show exactly what investigators found. James Christopher Malcolm appeared in federal court today for only a few minutes and never spoke. But these court documents accuse Malcolm of doing plenty of talking to undercover FBI agents. He allegedly sold them weapons and talked about doing it in ways that wouldn't be detected. Justin Lee is prosecuting the case for the U.S. Attorney's Office. He just indicated that he wanted to keep things anonymous and he had a method of doing that because he didn't like to deal with people in person because he thought if you dealt with people that was a, you were more likely to get caught in what you were doing. Malcolm's Carmichael home, vehicle, and storage locker were searched last month. These unsealed search warrants reveal what agents found. Numerous guns, ammunition, more than 30 hard drives, and chemicals, sulfuric acid and sodium azide, which can be deadly. Today in court, the prosecutor said he has 57 CDs of evidence, including video and audio. He sold auto sears, which are components for making machine guns, short barrel, AR 15s, explosive material. What's more, Malcolm may be connected to this man, Ryan Chamberlain, who was arrested in San Francisco for allegedly having an explosive device. In fact, these documents filed in federal court refer to someone from Sacramento who told agents he sold a deadly poison to Ryan Chamberlain in San Francisco. But today, the U.S. Attorney's Office would not say whether it was Malcolm from Carmichael who sold that chemical. But prosecutors say they are investigating to find out who Malcolm may have been selling weapons or chemicals to. In downtown Sacramento, Sharkin Shams, KCRA 3 News. Now completed not guilty today. If he is convicted of all the charges against him, he could face a maximum of 35 years in prison.